Hello, this is a case of laparoscopic pyeloplasty. Here, this is a 26 year old male patient with the PUJ obstruction. And you can see the pelvis uh, dilatation is just visible directly as soon as the telescope was in. We are using 30 mm telescope that is and the striker HD camera. Here, harmonic is used just to separate the peritoneum over that and to mobilize the bobbin. In PUG obstruction, it is important that you can have the DJ stent introduced. So, in this patient, we have introduced the double J stent before doing the procedure by cystoscopy. Now, here you can see the PUJ, pelvis is visible together with the ureter and we just posteriorly here the sauce muscle is visible. The medial aspect of the sauce is an important landmark to recognize the pelvis, to recognize the ureter and that should always be taken care of. Now, the ureter is nicely skeletonized for a couple of centimeters from the pelvis. It is important that the all around the boundaries of the pelvis should be completely adhesion free and now here longitudinally the ureter is cut. The stent is now started visible and here the hook seizure is used just to enlarge the incision. Hook seizure has the advantage that it will engage itself and there is no chance of slippage. Now, the entire ureter is cut, taking care that it should not be complete perpendicular cut, it should be little oblique, so that when you will do the anastomosis, there will be the less chances of the stricture. Laparoscopic pyeloplasty actually needs a good suturing skill. An intracorporeal suturing should be very nice. Now, here the DJ stent, the upper J of the DJ stent has been removed, and the urine which is leaked will be sucked out. Here, the urine together with the mixed with the blood is there. And now, this is the dilated pelvis which is cut it is not necessary to cut it completely because time to time you can use the remaining stump as a traction just to hold it to help in the anastomosis So, little flap is still attached and now the anastomosis is started. The posterior layer is sutured first. Surgeon's knot is the ideal knot for the pyeloplasty. Initially, couple of interrupted you can give. After that, continuous suturing is also possible. Now, 
know this was one interrupted suture and then again another on this side Here it is sutured. This is continuous, and it is possible that once you have one or two interrupted, then you can continue it. Now this is the interior layer. During the laparoscopic pyeloplasty, it is important that the assistant who is holding the camera should have a very stable hand. Here you can see a good camera person is there because the in misinterpretation of the anatomy, especially at the time of suturing knotting, when to remain close up and when to remain panoramic is very important. Especially when you are going to take a bite, the camera person should bring the telescope nearer. And when you are tying a knot, then it should have little panoramic that gives you the better seeing the relative anatomy and it will not be a chance of overshooting as well. Now this is again the anterior layer is getting sutured together with the other side and then with the pelvis. So now almost the anastomosis with the ureter is complete. Now the pelvis has to be closed. This is again the posterior layer of the cut pelvis which is approximated final, final suture. Now this is again the knot is terminated and excess of the flap of the pelvis is cut out. Initially it was left there 
and now it is removed and now this is the double J of the stent upper J is introduced into the pelvis and now it will be closed so again intracorporeal suturing is required and then entry and posterior layer of the pelvis is approximated together just you can have a bite and you can approximate it together There is a small gauge piece you can see down there that is just to absorb all the blood and sometimes it will be helpful to swab and to rub it. So few more continuous stitch has been given. To close the opening of the pelvis. Now this is the final termination. And then the suture is cut. This is just the final knot. And then you can cut the suture and here the drain is introduced. So thank you very much for watching this video of pyloplasty. Thank you.